guys are here for the giveaway. Alright guys, today we are going to be doing a review of the Apocalypse 25mm RDA. So, I'm actually kind of excited about this one because it's an interesting little thing. Um, let's get down below and actually show you what there is to do about it before I can really tell you how it works, what it does, and why it's interesting to me. Um, there's a good little look at it, you know, as it sets on the mod. But I'm going to take it off, show you the bottom, tell you all the who's and what's it's and the bullshits, and do the normal stuff as well. So, um, let's go down below and check out these bitches under the carriage. Alright guys, this is it. The Apocalypse 25 RDA. I really like the stainless steel. It's pretty badass. Nice little fucking guy with the uh, gas mask on there. Pretty fucking sleek. It's got the standard 810 drip tip, 510 connector down there. On the bottom it'll say made by Armageddon Manufacturing. It's got its little item number and the most bullshit. So this is the uh, Apocalypse 25 millimeter manufactured by the Armageddon Manufacturing Company. Um, it has a few collaborators. I'm not quite positive about which ones specifically, but uh, I'm really digging this. Let me show you if you a few things about it. It uh, has this step up down um, airflow system here that's actually pretty pretty cool. Let me show you how it works. Pull this apart off camera because it's a little easier to do that way. Bam. Has the teardrop style up down system. See how it has three holes there? That's because in both sides of this you can either put one hole or two holes open on the draw and that's the way you do that with the third set of rungs for when you're using a single coil setup. Um, I have it on the dual here, but if you spin it sideways, you can get it to a single coil setup. See what it's doing here? Ka chow One side, which is what I'm usually running on. And um, I'll pull this top cap back off to kind of show you the deck. Clamp style deck with your... Um, straight up flat head screw, screw bits there and uh, pretty damn easy to slip shit in here. I'm going to say though um, the one con I had was I did have trouble getting it to connect to two just because those two plates there kind of like to slide back up and down and back and forth and do weird shit and make a wonky connection so only one of my coils was lighting up the way I wanted it to and um, maybe maybe that was partially user error who the hell knows? Use it for yourself. It's got decent airflow, really decent airflow. I have not had any problems. Even on a single hole, I'm pretty well excited about this fucking, this fucking thing. So would I recommend it to you guys? Surely. It's got enough deck space to play with and, and build some nice things on. It's got enough airflow to run something hot. Um, the flavor is really not bad at all. Does it have the flavor of a 22 millimeter RDA or something like that? Hell the fuck no. But this 25 definitely still packs a good punch on flavor while it gives you great, great vapor. So um, I'll take you guys back up top so that we can take another puff of vape off this with a single coil. And I'll show you, you know, what it's capable of. You know. And this is a pretty big fucking... RDA a single coil is a kind of silly setup on it, but it was crit it was dumbing down my batteries and making me have to uh, pre-hit the damn coils every time I was hitting it, and I wasn't digging it. So I switched it back to a single, and that's what I'm chucking on now. And trust me, it is not losing out of me. So let's go back up top and have a vape. All right, we are back up top. Let me just give you a quick look at this deck. One con I have is it is not as deep as I would like it to be, and I'm always dumping juice out on my fucking self. It really pisses me off. But other than that, I'm kind of digging this chugger. So let's throw a little bit more juice in there and give it a nice vape. Nice. 
another cool thing I forgot to mention. Uh, it does have a little little gouge right there. I don't know if you can see it on camera. But it stops this cap right where it's supposed to be stopped. So if you don't get it set in those those grooves, your airflow won't be set up right. And you just spin your shit. You don't want it to be, be just spinning when you're trying to take it off either. So get it in those grooves. It locks down. It doesn't spin. The only thing that spins is your airflow top. And you don't have fucking problems. Single coil, 0.38 ohms, going at 50 watts on the Apocalypse 25 millimeter RDA. You guys should definitely check it out. Now, I'm gonna apologize for this last portion of this video. It was recorded in a stupid fucking camera setting and that was my bad. So, sorry about that guys. And if you have problems seeing or reading or something stupid, I'm sorry. That's my fault because I had my camera at a wonky angle and I thought it was recording properly. Um, check it. Pretty decent flavor and great fucking clouds. Now, that's on one hole, damn near all the way open, not even all the way open. And giving me the airflow horror. Plenty of fucking airflow. So, let's open it wide up. <coughs> Both sides. <coughs> Taking a fucking breath. Taking a breath. This shit will chuck. You can put some big builds in it. But let me warn you. When you put a big build in it, it gets warm. It really does get warm. So, um, keep that in mind when you're building something big on this because it doesn't quite heat sink the way I think it should. Um, but all around, not a bad RDA at all. Check it out for yourself to find out, but you could take my word for it. This is nice, and it's better than some shit. I'll tell you that much. And I was definitely not paid for this review. I bought this shit and decided to review it on my own accord. So, my opinions are my opinions. And I'm not going to say it's good just because fucking someone sent it to me. Y'all check it out for yourself. And let me know what you think. Have a good night and thanks for watching.